In this video, let's tackle this problem. Now, itong problem na to will be mahirap kung hindi mo alam yung derived formula para sa rth term or yung pagkuha ng any term dito sa expansion natin. Now, ito yung formula para dyan. The rth term is equal to n combination, ito yung c sa calculator mo. And then m multiplied by a to the n minus m multiplied by b to the m. Now sir, ano yung a? Yung a is yung first term dito sa binomial. And so yung a natin will be x. And then itong b is yung second term dito sa binomial which is negative 2 over x. Yung n is yung power dito. Again, we are considering this binomial because ito yung binomial na we raised to a power. Ito kasi, yung exponent kasi nito is 1. And so, pwede lang yan natin i-distribute. And so now, we can already form an equation for the rth term using this one. But first, let's distribute these. And so, this will be 2 times x minus 2 over x to the 6th plus 3 over x squared times x minus 2 over x to the 6. And so now, let's compute for the rth term. Now, dalawang rth term yung need natin because dalawa yung expressions dito. Now first, we need to find kung ano yung kadugtong dito na x to the 0. Kasi yung x to the 0 will be independent of x. Kasi virtually, meron tong x to the 0 dito. And so para lang yung 1. And so we only need to find kung ano yung coefficient ng x to the 0. Or simply, kung ano yung term na walang kadugtong na x. Now, for this expression, merong x squared dito. And so, for this expansion, we need to find kung ano yung kadugtong ng x squared. Because we will multiply that by 1 over x squared. And so, x squared over x squared will become 1. And so, again, conceptually, for this expression, yung independent of x na term is yung term sa expansion nito, which has x squared. So, yan yung concept dyan. And so, let's solve for the rth term. Let's first consider this one. And so, that will be n, which is 6. C, yung m natin, is unknown. Kasi ito yung term na hindi pa natin alam. And then multiplied by a, which is x, to the power of n minus m. Yung n natin is 6 minus m. And then multiplied by b, which is negative 2 over x, to the power of m, which is unknown. And so we will simplify this one. And so this is x to the 6 minus m. Now we can rewrite this one as negative 2 to the m over x to the m. And so we can simplify this one. We will subtract the two exponents. Kasi yung mga base natin are the same. And so we can reduce this into 6cm times x to the 6 minus m minus m will become 6 minus 2m multiplied by negative 2 to the m. And so now we need to find the rth term involving x to the 0. And so let's solve for m which will give us an exponent of 0. So 6 minus 2m, set natin to 0, we can solve for m, and that will be 3. So ito yung m na gagamitin natin for this expression. And then for the second term, we need to find the rth term involving x squared. So yung rth term involving x squared will be solved using this equation. 6 minus 2m is equal to 2. And so solving for m, we will get 2. And so ito yung m natin involving x squared, and ito yung m involving x to the 0. And so let's substitute these values dito sa equation na to. And then let's multiply this dito. And so let's just zoom out. Again, yung first expression natin, may kadugtong na 2. And so we will write 2 over x to the 0. Now, you don't need to write this. I just included this para you can think of it conceptually. And so let's multiply this one by the rth term involving x to the 0. And so we can solve that using this equation. So that will be 6 c, yung m natin is 3. And then multiplied by x to the 6 minus 2 times 3, magiging x to the 0. So magiging 1 lang din to. And then multiplied by negative 2 to the power of 3. And so this term will be, ito yung ibig sabihin ng c. 2 times 6, c3 times negative 2 cubed. And so that will be negative 320. Ito yung term independent of x, for the expansion of this expression. And so next, let's solve for this one. Now, meron tayong 3 over x squared dito. Multiplied by the rth term involving x squared. Para magka-cancel to. And so yung pag-solve natin dyan, we'll still use this equation. And that will be 6c. Yung m natin dito is already 2. So this will be 2. Multiplied by x to the 6 minus 2 times 2, which will become squared. Because 6 minus 4 will be 2. And then multiplied by negative 2, to the power of m, which is 2. And so notice na magka-cancel yung x squared. So this term will be independent of x. And so let's input this sa calculators natin. That will be 3 times 6 c2 
times negative 2 squared. And so that will be 180. And since we are expanding this expression, we will need to add both of the values. Because yan yung terms independent of x. And so negative 320 plus 180 will become negative 140. And so ito na yung answer natin.